Hello, Mr. Gigabytes here, and today we're going to do a uh, switch modification on the C64 Mini joystick. Now I'm going to tell you, uh, full interest of full disclosure, this is about take three. <laughs> the first two times that I did this uh, didn't quite work out for any number of reasons. Um, and I even broke one of the switches in the process, but uh, but uh, we're gonna get it this time. And uh, what we're doing is a little unorthodox. Um, we're going to do a no solder solution uh, and add switches in to the C64 Mini joystick. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to surface mount these switches with uh, hot glue now I know I can hear some of I, I can just uh, hear some of you saying well now that's just not a proper mod well um, for people that don't know how to solder but maybe can you know make their way around a glue gun this might be uh, this might be a solution for them I, I honestly don't know how long it'll last I don't know how durable it'll be uh, I do know that it works Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the switches are just surface mount PCB micro switches. And what they are, what uh, I've done is uh, these are a little bit taller than standard micro switches. Hope you can see that in there. They're a little bit taller than the standard size. Uh, 4.5 millimeters is usually uh, the ones that are more a little more flush mount. But uh, these are a little bit taller. So what I've had to do is I've had to bend the pins all the way down. Now on either side is the contact for the, for the switch. So what I need to do, what you need to do is you need to pay attention to the board because uh, the contacts for the ground for the for the positive side and the ground are different for each button. So for left and right and the fire buttons, we have uh, we have a zigzag kind of like this. Uh, the up and down are zigzag kind of like this. So that means uh, one side is ground and one side is the voltage side, the positive side, and you have to mount the switch so that it, so that one side contacts ground and one side contacts the positive. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount these, get the rest of these switches mounted. Now that they're all, uh, I've done a lot of that preparation in advance. And uh, I'll see you here in a minute.
Okay. Now, I have it reassembled, but there is a slight problem. Because I use such tall switches, um, I think they're six millimeter or something, the, uh, the switches in some areas are actually too tall for the joystick. So I've had to leave the clamshell a little bit loose. Well, we'll see. Let's just power this on and see which buttons it's pressing, if anything. Loosen it up to figure it out. Well, so far it's not pressing any buttons, but... a little bit little bit fiddly so let's loosen this up let's take the whole bottom piece out in fact okay See the issue is here the uh, the screws hold the board in and I can leave these a little loose but that's also reinforced by this bottom piece and all these posts push up against the board to keep it nice and tight and uh, unfortunately like I said I used screws that were a little too tall so let's just up and down, left, right, fire button, of course all the regular buttons work as well. minute uh, segment for this video here uh, what I've done is uh, this has been kind of a fiddly project and it's 
been fiddly mainly because I don't didn't have the right size. Um, uh, I didn't have the right size switches to put on this board, and so what I've had to do is I've had to take the uh, the multi tool. I've had to file it down, uh, file the posts down so that they're uh, they're not touching, and. Now I've got uh, I've got the two joysticks on the bench here, so I, this is the unmodified one, um, and I bought the this is a new one I just bought recently, and let me bring it up to the mic so you can hear uh, when I press the buttons. So you can hear the uh, that it's just the silicone pads in in this one. Now this one. Has got the uh, the switch upgrade, and uh, if you take a listen, so that's that. This one has got the switch upgrade, and so what I'm going to do, we're going to switch these out, and I'm going to try, and uh, I'm actually going to try and play Galencia on it again. And we'll see if uh, if there's any improvement here. There is a little bit of hesitation uh, when I go when I push it to the left, so there might not that particular switch might not be making great contact with the board. It still it works most of the time, but uh, I'm going to give this one more shot. Uh, probably edit most of this out, so. Well, let's play with it. Play with the original joystick.
Well, the mod, the mod definitely works. I, I was able to get everything back together and it's all clicky and feels nice. But uh, honestly, I don't think uh, I, I don't think uh, with the, with this mod, I, I guess it's inconclusive, but it's a homebrew mod, so you can't really. I, I don't know that this really proves anything, to be honest. So I suppose until next time, thank you for watching.